What makes the Fast and Furious series so irresistible to car enthusiasts? Well, it's those stunning hero cars that steal the show. From sleek and powerful muscle cars to exotic imports, each vehicle has its own unique charm and personality. These cars have become iconic symbols, leaving an indelible mark on both the franchise and the hearts of fans worldwide. To pay tribute to this thrilling franchise, we're going to explore 15 of the most recognizable, popular, and aesthetically appealing rides featured throughout the Fast and Furious films. Buckle up because this is going to be one thrilling ride. Our first mention at number 15 is the Pontiac Fiero. Okay, let's talk about 2021 surprises. One thing we definitely didn't see coming was a Pontiac Fiero with a rocket engine. In Fast 9, we witnessed the unconventional combination of a Pontiac Fiero and a rocket engine. At number 14 is the 1966 Chevrolet Corvette C2 Stingray. In one memorable scene during The Fate of the Furious, Letty chooses a stunning 1966 Chevrolet Corvette C2 Stingray from a secret location known as the Toy Store. The vibrant red color of this two-door coupe made it look even more luxurious. Number 13 is the 1971 Jensen Interceptor. In Fast and Furious 6, we witness the stunning work of Carrozzeria Touring's Federico Formenti with the introduction of the 1971 Jensen Interceptor. This matte gray beauty with black stripes down the bonnet is driven by Letty, portrayed by the talented Michelle Rodriguez. Next up, let's talk about the cute little sports rally car from Fast and Furious 6, the 1970 Ford Escort Mark I RS 1600. During Roman Pierce and Brian O'Connor's pursuit of the Owen Shaw tank, this car plays a crucial role. Number 11 is the 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback. Now let's talk about one of the most memorable cars from the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, the 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback. In this film, we see Sean Boswell, played by Lucas Black, take on the legendary Drift King in an adrenaline-fueled race. Number 10, the 2003 Acura NSX. Driven by Jordana Brewster's character Mia, this car showcases both elegance and power. In Fast Five, we see Mia using the Acura NSX in a daring move to free Dom from a prison bus. At number nine, we have the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Dom and power cars are a match made in automotive heaven, and the 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS holds a special place in his heart. At the end of the first film, Dom hits the road to Mexico with this beauty. Number eight is the 1969 Yanko Camaro SYC. Let's shift gears and talk about the legendary 1969 Yanko Camaro SYC from Too Fast, Too Furious. We first catch a glimpse of this muscle car being driven by Corpy, who challenges Brian and Roman to a race while they're on a mission. Of course, he loses and Brian ends up with the Yanko after winning a later race against Corpy. Number seven is the 2014 W Motors Lycan Hypersport. Now let's talk about the jaw-dropping 2014 W Motors Lycan Hypersport from Furious 7. This hypercar steals the spotlight in the film as it becomes the vehicle housing the coveted computer chip known as God's Eye. Number six, the 1993 Mazda RX-7. This red beauty first graces the screen when Dom goes head to head with Brian in a street race. Dom effortlessly outshines Brian, but their fun is cut short when the cops show up, forcing everyone to scatter. At number five, we have the 1995 Mitsubishi Eclipse. Manufactured by Diamond Star Motors and Mitsubishi Motors Corporation, this car steals the spotlight in the Fast and the Furious. Brian uses it for practice in the Dodger Stadium parking lot before going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Dom. Number four is the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Of course, we can't forget about Dominic Toretto's beloved 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Throughout the franchise, Dom has an unwavering love for this iconic muscle car. We see different versions of the Charger, but it's the one from the first film that truly stands out. Coming up in our third spot is the 1994 Toyota Supra MK4. After his Eclipse is destroyed by Johnny Tran, Brian takes on the challenge of restoring a scrap Supra he finds in a junkyard. With a budget of $20,000, though it ended up costing way more, he turns it into a beast capable of challenging even a Ferrari. Our number two car is the 2000 Honda S2000. 
Now let's talk about Suki's unforgettable house of color hot pink Honda S2000 from Too Fast Too Furious. While we only catch a glimpse of this beauty during the race hosted by Tej, it still leaves a lasting impression. And finally, we've reached the number one spot on our list, the 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR R34. This car personifies the epitome of cool in the Fast and Furious universe. Brian gets behind the wheel of this beauty and showcases its power by besting Suki, Slapjack, and Orange Julius in a thrilling race hosted by Tej. Have we left your favorite car out of our list? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed watching this video, leave a like. And to receive notifications for future videos, subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications.